here is my review for this week's Naruto Manga Chapter 629, so let's get into this. So this week's Naruto Manga Chapter 1, I'd like to say, welcome back, Naruto. It's, it's been a minute. It, it really has been a minute, and I, I needed a Naruto. It was there, and I was, I was going crazy, man. I, I had to choke somebody. I had, I had to slap a couple of people because I, I needed a Naruto, but, but it's here now, and it came back with, with a good chapter. It came back with a good chapter because we, we, go, we jump right into why Kakashi killed Ren. I, I like the fact that we get that out of the way coming back into this, so I, I'm glad that's out of there. And not to mention Lee's with a, a bit of mystery when it comes to what's up with Obito. Like, it, it, it's weird. Like, what, what, it has a hole in his chest. What's what's going on exactly? It's very interesting. So, I mean, I'm going to get into all that within this review. So, I mean, let's, get into this. Let's, let's, let's get into this. So, the first part I want to talk about is the Juby. The Juby yet again shows some impressive feats and just showing why he is the freaking Juby. He is the boss. He is the progenitor. Yeah, this sucker's freaking beast, son. He comes in all these massive tornadoes, just, just destroying things. He he is leveling this entire area. It's it's ridiculous. On page four, and now I'm not sure what this is, but I'm I'm, I'm assuming this was a like some type of explosion or or like he just pushed the entire like ground down. Like I'm not sure what exactly what he did, but I just know he did some massive destructive. Just feet. It's just it's, it's it's ridiculous. Whatever he did right there at that moment, it was just it was ridiculous. <laughs> so you know the Juby, I, he's not playing around. I'm I'm liking the fact that he's not playing around. You know, and so with all that destruction and everything, everyone's all knocked down. Of course, they're all protected though because because the cloak, because Naruto put the cloak on him and everything like that. But the thing is, Naruto didn't protect himself, so he actually got hurt and his arm was all messed up. He's like, ah, uh, it hurts and stuff. Like he's 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 he's, he's messed up right now. And the thing he's not really worrying about it, but this page, this page here, like, there's a page in this chapter here, and it's, it's very interesting, and I was, here's the thing, I was saying how to defeat the Juby, there's only real, one real way to actually defeat it, because I don't see how you can really seal it into anything, it, it's, it's Juby, you know what I mean, I, don't, I can really stop it, and there's only really one way you can stop it, is to become the Sage of Six Packs. Now, on page seven, we see... This panel where we see all the all of the um bijus like right behind them, like this little silhouette little picture of like Naruto there, and then you see all the other um bijus there. It's it, it's 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 interesting because you all know he's friends with each and every one of them now. You know they he knows all the names and everything. So that's 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 kind of odd. That just randomly like it was random. He just came in right there. But then the page below it too, right behind Naruto is some Rinnegan eyes. So I'm I'm just gonna go on a limb that. This is a clear indication that he's going to become the Sage of Six Packs. So, with that, he's going to go and absorb the Juby. I don't know when exactly, but something's going to happen that's going to allow him to do it. So, this is, is going to be interesting. I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So, yeah, I, 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 my prediction where he's going to, um, how he's going to defeat the Juby is by actually absorbing it or, and becoming the Sage of Six Packs. I think that's the best way how the house is all gonna go. So with this panel here, it kind of confirms that it, it may happen. So it's just it's odd. Why would why would why would they show that? You know what I mean? So it, it's 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 very interesting. Um, the thing is, Juby goes transform. He goes into another transformation. He goes into another transformation, and he like is buff and stuff. He's like time to take steroids. Mm, yeah, oh yeah, 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 son. Like this is freaking. He's ready now. He's he's definitely ready. He's, I'm curious what else he's gonna do since he's transformed. What else is he gonna do? Because Juby is just really not playing around. So I'm looking forward to seeing what else he will do. And so the next little bit in this um chapter I want to talk about is Ren, Kakashi, and Obito. You know the whole thing going on here. He goes into the freaking dimension right after the moment they go into the other dimension. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand this. Like. Freaking Obito, he's been through this a lot of times. Why did you fall on the ground? And Kakashi stands up. Like, it didn't make sense. Like, Kakashi got up and he's like, I carry, son. He's like, he's about to go get him. But he stops. He's hesitating to kill him. And I, 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 that's, that's just something I actually like. Because we all asked this question before when he was, um, when uh, Kakashi was in this dimension before and part of um, Obito's body was in there and he punched it. He could have, like, carried it and killed him then, right? But this explains why he's actually hesitant is what's going on. So I like the fact that was kind of explained there. So I'm sorry, like, I always wonder, like, why didn't you just finish him off then? But like I say, he's hesitant to kill his friend, so that, make, that makes sense. And, now, and apparently when it comes to Obito, he wanted to under... Well, he understands Naruto completely because it, he feels like that's him. He basically sees Naruto as himself. And what he was thinking, that's basically what he would say... It feels flipped around, basically. But the thing, he's, he's rejecting everything Naruto says. He's like, I'm not listening to any of this stuff. It's just funny that it's like they're so, this is so similar. Like, they're basically the same person is, is what it is. Except 
oh, um, freak Obito went to the dark side, the dark side. So you know, <laughs> it, 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 it's interesting to see that. And apparently, we get the reason why um, Ren died. Ren ran into the um, Rakiri. Uh, it, it's weird. Apparently, Ren was the um, the third tail in Jiriki. I, I well, it's like that's that's really odd. I mean, she's a third tail in Jiriki, and apparently, they wanted to use her to go into the leaves so that they can release the powers so the, the third tail can come out and just destroy the place and stuff. That's what it's supposed to do. Now, I'm not going to lie. That that plan does make no sense. I, how are you... Like, she's just going to be like, okay, time to die. And then the, the thing just don't... Like, and it, it's weird. You know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't understand it. Like, she was a lead ninja too. I don't know. It, it's weird. But the, but the miss was trying to use her and it didn't go that way because she's like, no, um, Kakashi, you got to kill me. They're trying to use me. Kakashi's like, no, I got to protect you. You got to be another way. But then she just jumped in the way. Bam, dead. And the thing is, um, while that happened, Obito did the basically the same thing. He got up, and and here's the thing, I want I want to point this out because the thing is, this, this whole is very odd. The whole is very odd. But the thing I'm thinking is that's just an that's just against YouTube because again, in this there's a panel where we see Obito like his eye all of a sudden and it's kind of like you know veiny and stuff like that. So I'm assuming he put Kashi under against YouTube before he started telling him that he knew everything because he knew how Ren died. Though I want to know how exactly did he know that Ren died? Maybe he just, maybe he did something like uh, Sasuke did and went into like died into one of the um, ninjas' minds or something before he killed him or something like that and got their permission there. But I'm curious how he did it exactly. But I think that's just an it's just a Genju to that that whole I think I think so anyways because I mean he could he could just make himself go you know intangible mode and, and just go through him like that and just make an illusion to look like there's a hole in his chest to simulate and to bother him. Like it's like a like like a hole in the wrench chest, basically. I think I think that may be it. I don't know if that's an actual hole, but I mean at the same time it could be. Because and the thing is that if that is an actual hole, if that is an actual hole, then how is he alive? That's the that's the thing. Like how, you don't have a you don't have a freaking heart. How are you walking around exactly? I mean unless he's Edo Tensei, but at the same time that would make as you said that's something if if it's act if it, if it is actual hole. Him actually being like actually having that big old hole there. I, I mean, I'm not sure what the reason is exactly, and I'm curious of what's going on with all that then. But I, I'm gonna just peg it off as a Genjutsu because we've seen um, a panel of him going into his eye. That, that's you know what I mean. They don't just put those panels out there for nothing. That's all I'm saying. So you know, with that being said, leave a comment below and tell me what you think of this week's Naruto manga chapter. Like you like this review and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more reviews from me. So it's been the Breakmaster, and until then, people, break out.